two sector. So really, they need to keep those positions going. But the field looking very bad right now for the uh, um, the allies. Axie's really, really pushing in right now. As you can see, allies just barely holding on to their territory, taking so many losses. This one strategic point, this one uh, manpower point here, holding this in for um, the rest of the resources over here. The Brits would be able to keep these resources, however, because they've got um, their HQs on. But as soon as this point is cut off, you know, then points really start getting uh, resources start really start getting low once these HQs are destroyed. And so I'll switch on over back to the normal view. So Al is just trying to hold off. <laughs> now this is basically what happens in the late game. You have basically so much going on, you have so much defending, or your units are pretty much on the field. You just, I don't know, you sort of run out of things to say, I mean... It's just basically battling going on back and forth, intense battling. If you were in uh, say in their position, for example, and fighting this, you'd be absolutely going mad, clicking everywhere, and be like you were on caffeine. You can imagine the uh, amount of um, tension that these players must feel right now. Especially the allies. They barely do see a few 38 more points in order to win, but they're barely holding on to these points. Panther trying to uh, distract them by moving in between the squads so that they can't take capture the point. I very I absolutely love that. You're losing a sector. And this commando really needs to get out, but unfortunately just fall into the ground. More commanders going down. And so it's a uh, Quite a big change of uh, the tide of war. Allies being very uh, aggressive and pushing in on the axes in the beginning. Actually recapping a lot of their strategic points right now. But um, taking a lot of losses. And as you can see, King Tiger not even af afraid of the anti-tank gun. Taking some shots and they try to take it out. And boom, there goes the anti tank. Oh, the anti tank, the King Tiger, very deep trouble right now. Artillery comes down in it, but still getting away. It's armor too thick to penetrate. And while all that battling was going on, it seems like the Allies actually sort of, uh, in a way, forgot about the side of the field. They, they thought probably they reclaimed it, they pushed the Axis back, so yeah, they thought they were okay. And probably diverted their uh, resources elsewhere, their manpower, but fortunately, probably not the best of ideas. They're losing a lot of uh, territory here. Their HQ being attacked, even. Massive tanks. Massive men. Capping still going on the right side, but not the main battle. Fashion Police still resorting to all these commandos. Absolutely going to wreak havoc on these um, Grenadiers. Getting up close and personal. Trying to come up behind the MG and take it out. Can they do it? Can they do it? Taking a lot of damage. Yes, they can. Although taking a lot of damage. <laughs> and so, what else do we have going on here? A lot of, um, a lot of skirmishes. Trying to take out this uh, HQ fuel support car. More V ones coming down. Unfortunately, these Panthers really need to get out of here. Wow, 
Wow. I think there's actually a few riflemen that must have, or uh, Brit squads that must have died there, because as you saw, there's body parts going about, flying. But yeah, good use of uh, B1. And so we see the field support truck going down. Absolutely nothing to counter these Panthers, so a very desperate situation for the first right now. But the war of attrition of just keep keep you on trying to put the tension, put the pressure on. It's just probably too much for the um, allies. They're totally being pushed in right now, taking too much losses. They've lost all three victory points. So the tide has totally changed. Looking very, very bad for the allies. Badly damaged HQ on the front and a whole bunch of grenadiers coming. Now we little sappers protecting their little beloved home. <laughs> Throwing down a bit of a scraping run. Fortunately not really killing anything there. Just maybe one grenadier. Now this is an onslaught. Raining down right on this HQ. Oh the horror. And a little artillery strike coming down. Could it be fake? Could it be real? It is real. So the Grenadier is probably staying there because they thought it must have been a desperate situation, a fake artillery strike, but no, it was actually real. Now the Allies being totally cut off. No more resources from these uh, points over here. This is looking very bad. And Snoop saying good game, Deadbolt saying good game, everybody saying good game. This was the end for Alex. And so we see just everything going downhill and one point left. That is the end of the game. So anyway, so I'd just like to say that this was, yeah, a very entertaining game. I would say I definitely enjoyed watching this game. Um, as you guys can notice, this was my first um, Company of Heroes vanilla replay for you guys. So don't mark Coho, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, as I was going to say, if you guys have any replays for your, of your own that you would like to submit me to commentate on, then on you go. Go ahead. Um, I'd also like to ask you guys if you want to ask me anything or do if you want me to talk about anything then on you go because like in longer games like these when it drags out to you know 48 minutes and above you know in the late game it becomes a bit hard to think about things to talk about so if you got any ideas or anything you want to ask me anything silly or any shout outs you want me to say I could easily bring that out in the late games and start talking about that always be good keep these um at replays entertaining for you guys but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this krebs coho signing out see you guys later